Hello and welcome to our science lesson for today. Today we are going to be learning about the parts of a plant. But before we do that, I wanted to show you what happened to my seed, my avocado seed, once I soaked it in water. I'm going to put it on my computer. Okay, as you can see, it's all soft. And see how the seed coat is coming off? I can peel it off. The seed coat is peeling off. And I'm gonna see if I can cut it open. And it's still not real soft, but I wanted you to see the inside. Look at that, okay? And you see that part right there? What is that? That's the helium or the belly button of the seed. And if you look real close in there, Real close in there, you can see a tiny little, tiny little plant about to come out. Tiny little plant. And the seed coat is falling off of it. So this is what it looks like without the seed coat on. That's what it looks like. And so I wanted you to see what the seed looks like. And it's all soft from sitting in the water. So that made it easier for me to open it. And I'm just moving that out of the way so that it is not next to the computer just in case it decides to fall over. So today we are going to be learning about the parts of a plant. We're gonna be learning about the parts of a plant. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna look at our video from brain pop and you can log into brain pop through clever so you can log into brain pop through clever so let's get the video started and this video is about three to four minutes it's four minutes long <laughs> There's some questions in here that you can answer. Please put in your science Mommy, journal. What are you doing? But that's not the right way. The roots go in the soil, not the flowers and the leaves. You know, the roots. They're the part of the plant that, um, er, what do roots do anyway? Look, that tree has really big roots. Well, the roots are the part that grow down into the soil, but I'm not exactly sure what they do. Wow, without roots, this tree would have been blown away. They do a good job of holding a plant into the dirt. I know plants need water to grow. And water goes down into the soil. I bet the roots take in water from the soil. And soil is full of all kinds of stuff. I bet it's really nutritious for the plant. The roots must absorb the nutrients and send them up the stem. So what does the stem do? I bet water and nutrients go through the stem to reach the rest of the plant. I know it's a trunk, but it's also the stem. Stems can come in all different sizes, but they both help support the plant. And the stem helps the plant reach sunlight. Hmm. What do leaves do? I know, it looks sick. The leaves are falling off. You're right. That plant looks a lot healthier. Look how big and green the leaves are. It must get a lot of sunlight and fresh air. Leaves need to take in sunlight and air to make food for the plant. So then the plant can grow up to be strong and healthy. Hmm. But these plants don't have flowers like the ones in our garden. 
What do flowers do? I know that flowers are important parts of some plants. Flowers make a sticky powder called pollen, which helps them make new plants. <sighs> Look, there's a seed at the end of this petal. I guess flowers help the plant make seeds and fruit, but what do seeds and fruit do? There are so many seeds in this watermelon. Seeds are important because they can grow into new plants. Well, since seeds are inside the fruit, I bet the fruit protects the seeds. And fruit is really tasty. When animals eat fruit, the seeds pass through them and end up in a different place. We should go plant these seeds and grow new plants. Then we can have all the watermelon we want. You swallowed a seed? Don't worry, a watermelon plant isn't going to grow inside you. That's not how it works. Okay, so we're gonna be learning about the parts of a plant, the parts of a plant. And I'm trying to close this screen up. Okay, and there are your dojos. Okay, so we are learning about the parts of a plant. Okay, so let's look at the vocabulary words. Roots, the part of a plant that absorbs, wa absorbs water, mineral, and minerals from the soil. What does absorb mean? Absorb means to soak it up like a sponge absorbs water, it soaks it up. Stem, the part of a plant that gives support and carries water, minerals, and food throughout the plant. Leaves the part of a plant that absorbs sunlight and makes food for the plant. Flower, the part of a plant that makes seeds, which continues the life cycle. And chlorophyll, that's a big word. That's the green pigment found in plant leaves that help the plant make food. So chlorophyll is the green part in the plant, the green part in the plant. So let's look at this picture of this plant. Here are the roots of a plant. These are the roots. And each part of the plant has a job to do. The job of the roots is to absorb water and minerals from the soil. So they absorb roots. Tiny root hairs act like straws to absorb, to help absorb and store extra minerals and moisture for the plant. The roots help anchor the plant or hold it into the soil, okay? That's what the roots do. The stem, the plant stem has more than one job. One of its job is to support the plant, which means to hold it up. And the stem also acts like a pipe and it carries water throughout the, throughout the plant, okay? We eat some stems like celery, broccoli, asparagus, rhubarb, and bok choy. I've never had bok choy. That might be something I need to try. Leaves. The role of the leaves is to make food for the plant. Okay? The leaves contain a green pigment, the part that's green in there. Help. It's called chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll captures the energy from the sunlight and they change it into water and carbon dioxide and into food and oxygen. This is called photosynthesis. Can you say photosynthesis? That's a big word. And that means it's changed, the chlorophyll in the plant changes the water and the carbon dioxide into food and oxygen for the plant. And this plant right here that we see growing in this picture is a sunflower. And look at the picture now. The job of the flower is to attract pollinating insects. The flower produces pollen 
and seed so the plant can reproduce and continue the life cycle. The pollen can be found inside the flower. Bright colored petals are a type of leaf that protect the inner part of the flower. These brightly colored petals attract insects to help pollinate the flower. So the petals act like a beacon to bring the bring the insects in like butterflies and bees those types of things that carry pollen from one plant to another so let's look at the parts of the plant you have the flower you have the flower you have the leaf you have the stem and you have the roots Okay, the flower makes seeds to continue the life cycle. The leaves absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide. The stem supports the plant and carries the food and the roots anchor it or hold the plant into the soil. So those are the parts of the plant. And so what I did so that I could label it is I made my own flower. I drew a picture of a flower and there's the sunlight and there's the soil and the roots in the bottom and there's my stem and my leaves. I need to finish coloring my leaves. And what else does my plant need? And I could label my plant, right? I can label my plant because at the top of my plant, I have what? This is the, the flower. So I can write the word flower. And this is the stem. And here we have leaves. And so I can keep going and down here at the bottom, I have roots. I have the roots of my plant. And I can, I'm going to keep this poster because what I'm going to do when we talk about the things that plants need, I'm going to go ahead and add those things to my poster. I'm going to add those things to my poster. So your science assignment today your science assignment today. Here we go. And I'm going to post this for you. You can draw your picture and label it. You can draw your picture and label it. Or if you want to print it out, you can print it out and color it. And you can write the words in and the words are on the bottom for you. Or you can cut them out and glue it on. That's up to you. But this is your assignment for today, and I want it posted in your portfolio. Have it posted in your portfolio. Label the parts of a plant. And tomorrow we are going to talk about what plants need, what plants need, and go over some of our vocabulary words. Um, I hope you have a super day, and I will be posting our videos today so that you can work on your assignments at your leisure. Bye.